What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news, people, concerning Canelo Alvarez, Jermel Charlo. Get this. Canelo reveals the long-term reason behind Charlo fight. He says, I'll never forget what he said. Hmm. And Canelo has revealed to the PBC that he is the perfect time for the fight he has been fantasizing about for some years. He says, I think it's the perfect fight right now. He's undisputed in his weight class. I'm undisputed in mine. He's calling me out for a long time. Bars. And I hear he's taking a lot of things for a long time. And I'm talking a lot of things for a long time. And I never forget. Canelo's going down. Canelo can't do this. Canelo can't do that. He, he never believed in my skills. But guess what? He's going to find out soon. I'm very excited for this fight because he and his brother never believed in my skills and that's one of the things that motivates me. It's almost here. I never say anything, but I never forget. I always see everything. I know they always talk about me. Hmm. Those are the words of Canelo Alvarez. Um, I hope, people, that this just, just isn't a tactic. I hope that Canelo Alvarez is serious. I mean, I've seen the, the head movement. You know, I've seen it. I've seen the head movement. And I know that's what people got on board with Canelo. I mean, hopefully, that's why. Because of the defense the offense, the counter-punching ability, right? The distance. I honestly don't believe, or I don't know, and I don't remember that Jamel or Jamal said anything about Canelo like that. But then again, they might have. But I mean, of course, Jamel Charlo and Jamal Charlo, you know, those guys kind of, you know, Al had some special stuff with them. Um, I'm glad that he is fighting Jermel because Jermel is the fresher fighter. However, the challenge for Jermel is to get to 168 and comfortably compete at 168, a guy that's been at 168. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't have believed in his skills, but hey, I like the idea of Canelo saying that, hey, I'm going to show you. You know, I don't forget what you say. And there wasn't any back talk. And a lot of times Canelo doesn't say anything. And I have to remind people, it wasn't really till Canelo Alvarez got with Eddie Hearn before he became real mouthy. If you can remember, he wasn't like that when, when a lot of told him he wants to slap the shit out of him in front of everybody in Espanol, right? He didn't say anything. He just said, talk is cheap. But now he's with Eddie Hearn. He goes, to, I'm going to F you up, motherfucker. Get F out of here. Get the F out of here, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? He's really, you know, the brawl with, with um, uh, Caleb Plant. Well, that actually, he actually deserved that, honestly. But, you know, those fights, he's actually been coming out of his shell more and more. So we have to see um, what Canelo Alvarez can do. Hopefully this is an opportunity for him to show us that he still has it. Because a lot of people are doubting that he does. Look at that John Ryder fight. He looked like a washed up dude that's on his way out of the sport. He didn't look like somebody that was a reigning and defending pound for pound fighter. He looked like a guy that's missed a couple steps overnight fighting a guy like that. Yeah, he dropped him a couple times. He shattered his nose and this, that, and the other, but he couldn't close the show. You know, and it lets me know like, okay, where was the hunger to close the show? Where was the hunger to stop John Ryder after you've dropped him a couple times? Where was that hunger? We didn't see it. I didn't see it. So hopefully we can see what we didn't see from the last performance that Canelo was in. And before that, of course, he lost uh, to Dimitri Bivol. Right? So we have to see uh, Canelo Alvarez has vowed to show Jermel Charlo what type of skills he has. Of course, please subscribe 
and you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!